Hi, this is Tim Yoder with Fit Small Business. Today I'm going to teach you how to reconcile your credit card account in QuickBooks Online. This tutorial is one of 46 free QuickBooks Online tutorials from Fit Small Business. To read all of these tutorials, Google Fit Small Business QuickBooks Online Tutorials. So let's get started. From your dashboard, there are several ways to get to the reconcile screen. Um, perhaps the easiest is to go up to your cogwheel in the upper right hand corner and under tools we can go to reconcile. So we're looking to reconcile our American Express account so good that's already chosen and I made a sample American Express statement here that we're going to reconcile to. So the statement date is 1015 the beginning balance is $200.33 so let's make sure that matches what's automatically pulled up here. So it did. It automatically pulled up our beginning balance of $200.33. If that beginning balance is off, um, QuickBooks will provide a link here that will help you find why it's off, but that can sometimes be very difficult where you might have to have an accountant help you. Um, the main thing to avoid to prevent that from happening is don't ever change a transaction that's already cleared your credit card which makes sense right so if it's already cleared your credit card it's too late for that transaction to change if something was refunded don't change that transaction you have to create a new transaction for the refund so as long as you never change anything that's already been reconciled you shouldn't have a problem with your beginning balance so good we're we're lucky here our beginning balance is okay our statement ending uh, we said is 1015 and our ending balance is four hundred and fifty dollars and nineteen cents okay excellent so let's start reconciling okay so you can see that the idea here is we're going to go through each of these items. These are the items that have been entered in QuickBooks. We're going to go through each of these items and trace them to the bank statement and then mark them here as being cleared. So QuickBooks has already marked these four transactions as being cleared because they were electronically uh, imported into QuickBooks. So QuickBooks knows that they've already been cleared. But I'm going to go ahead and clear them. I'm going to go ahead and uncheck them so that we can trace them by hand. So the first thing we want to do is trace from QuickBooks to our bank statement. So we have $5.73 from Gambles. Yes, so I'm going to mark it off on our bank statement just by putting a 1 next to it. If it was a paper statement, I would probably put a check mark. $18.59 from Gambles. Yes. 69.55 from Sling. Yes. Okay. And 101.10 from Amazon. Yes. Okay. Um, now we have a payment of $25 that we made. So, payment, does that show up on our statement of $25? Yes, it does. And so we can mark that. Okay. So we are still $79.89 off. So if we take our beginning balance and we add in all of our cleared charges and our cleared payments, we come to $370.30, but the statement is $450.19. So now we're going to trace from the statement back to QuickBooks. So in other words, we want to see what's on the statement that's not in QuickBooks. Well, that's pretty easy here because we've put marks next to them. So New York City Electric on 927 for 7632. Is that in our QuickBooks? No, it's not. So we have to add a transaction. So to add a transaction, it's actually not too difficult. What we can do is we're going to go over here and we want to add a transaction, but we don't want to leave this screen. Now we could save for later if we wanted to uh, and then and go and navigate like we normally would. But instead, let's go to our new button and we're going to record an expense. And I'm going to uh, right click 
and I'm going to open this link in a new tab. So you can have multiple QuickBooks online tabs open at the same time. That's a real time saver in all sorts of situations. So this is going to open up the add an expense screen. We're going to put uh, New York City Electric from the American Express. The uh, date of that was 927 for 7632. Seventy six thirty two utilities and we'll say it's admin. Okay, there we go. So save and close. Okay, now I'm going to go back to our original QuickBooks Online tab. And now notice it's not here yet, I need to update. So I'm going to hit this refresh. Okay, and there we go. There's the 76.32. Now we're still $3.57 off. So let's look back at our statement. We've now entered that amount three dollars and fifty seven cents that's our interest charge on 1015 so we need to record the interest charge I'm gonna go back to our this is our second QuickBooks online screen we had open so I'm gonna do another just same thing new expense this was paid to American Express A payment account was American Express 1015 Category interest. The amount three dollars and fifty seven cents. Class admin. Okay, and save and close. Again, back to our original tab, and let's refresh. Okay, and now we can see we have the $3.57 charge for interest in here. Now we can look and our difference is zero. Okay, now that we have a difference of zero, we can click finish now. And it says you reconciled your account. Good, so it won't let you reconcile if you still have a difference. However, it will offer to make that adjustment to you to like some sort of miscellaneous expense it'll make the adjustment for you um, I suggest not doing that I would try to find what's wrong and make the reconciliation balance perfectly once you reconcile an account you cannot unreconcile it the only way you can get unreconciled is to uh, have an accountant go into your QuickBooks online books uh, through their accountant software and they can unreconcile the account for you but you can no longer do that yourself. So make sure the difference is zero before you reconcile. Okay, and now you uh, you are reconciled. We can click done. And there we go. That's how you reconcile your credit card account in QuickBooks Online. For other helpful tutorials, please Google Fit Small Business QuickBooks Online Tutorials.